Your Excellency, the President, Your Excellency, the First Lady, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, and the Deputy and the Second Lady, I am really very delighted to be here. I'm not a politician, so sometimes I tend to read my, my statements for record. You are <laughs> Your Excellency, today is a wonderful day. God has blessed this country, and that is why we are here, all of us together from all corners of this country. Post-election violence was a terrible experience in this country. But we got out of it very constructively. And I really want to put that on record. Kenya made a record in terms of recovery from post-election violence. Your Excellency, the country quickly was able to form a grad coalition government, which facilitated, first of all, the completion of the constitutional process. Now we have a wonderful constitution which came out of the dust of the post-election violence. We have a presidential system of government which is very powerful in terms of delivery of development for this country. We have an evolved government with also devolved resources. This country is being very well managed. Your Excellency, we are able to settle thousands of people within a very short time. I think the witnesses have clearly stated it. Thousands of people were resettled within a very short time. But up to now, of course, the process is going on because it's not the intention of the government to leave anybody unattended. I think we need really to commend the government for taking that process so seriously and so ably. Your Excellency, the six should never have been to the Hague because there never was a case to justify six Kenyans being taken to the Hague. It was a political project. Ocampo seized it and decided to teach Kenya a lesson. But now I think he is on the dock. He's the one who is going to be taught a lesson by this great country. <laughs> Your Excellency, the experience we have gone through should never be experienced by any other Kenyan. We thank the Kenyans who stood us with us all this time. They prayed for us. We thank the members of parliament who accompanied us to the Hague, who kept the banner or the concerns of the victims, we being the victims and also the other victims in the top agenda of this country. We thank them all, and that's why we are here today. We thank our lawyers. They have been introduced to you. They are great people. We thank the witnesses, those Kenyans who decided to come with us and testify that what was being put on table in the context of the political project was false. The, the lawyers argued so ably, and they actually proved these cases were framed, and it was unfortunate that innocent people, young people like Mr. Sun, should be kept in the Hague for five years waiting for that decision to be made. We are today happy, and we support the president of this country, the deputy of this country. The agenda is very, very simple. 
is the agenda of unifying this country, is the agenda of reconciliation, is the agenda of development. And we as Kenyans, that is our agenda. Live long our president, long live deputy president, long live Kenya, long live the people of this country. Thank you very much.